Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've done a vlog. It feels like a long time anyway. Um, today is the first day of spring where it's like sunny, it's warm, I'm in my garden and it's actually pretty warm and nice and everything is glowing with the sun. It's so beautiful. Um, and I just wanted to do a vlog to just capture my day. Um, it won't be a very witchy vlog because life isn't very witchy at the moment. It's very much studying, but I hope you guys will like catching up with me, seeing what's been going on in my life. It's been mostly just me sitting at a computer trying to learn thermochemical cycles, but um, it's been interesting. So it's currently almost the end of the Easter holidays. So I've been off school for two weeks. It's been fun, but it's been a lot and a lot of doing questions, doing stupid chemistry maths and learning a load of scientific concepts. So it's been fun, but it's been a challenge as expected. Today's the first day that we have our table and chairs out. Well, it's not really a table and chairs, it's a table and outside sofa type situation. Oh, this is nice. It's been ages since I've been sitting here. I used to film here the odd time. It was really fun. So nice. I'm wearing my new dress for the first time. It's from Cider. It's a little white mini dress type thing, strapless mini dress. And I've got my little cover up on. I love this cover up, um, especially because when I go like that and there's like the sun shining through it, it creates like shadows on the floor uh, in the shape of these flowers. So I really, really love it. Um, my arms were just a little bit cold, so I had to put it on. I love this dress because it makes me feel like I'm in like a music video. It's just one of those kinds of dresses. So it's really, really fun. Um, I'm currently going through a flashcard deck on mitosis and I'm watching the new Unjaded Jade video. So I'm having a lot of fun. I felt like something was missing. And I realized that the thing that was missing was me filming and me making this video. So <laughs> that's why I'm here. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have been up to in the comments down below. Um, and also lately I've been filming a lot and putting a lot on my Patreon which I've been really been loving doing um, because I'm on a mission to create a really really nice safe space for you guys to enjoy my nature photography and videos um, and nice like relaxing music and stuff over there so when well, the world feels overwhelming you can just go onto my Patreon and enjoy all these little videos and um, they can just make you feel calm because there's often moments where we are in like a overwhelming situation that we can't get out of but we go on like social media or on like really overstimulating games to try and escape but I'm trying to create a place on my Patreon where you guys can just go and escape and just have loads of nature and nice stuff to comfort you so if that is something that you're interested in um, please check it out down below you can join for free um, I am working on putting some free content on there as well as the paid content that's already on there um, so yes a little shameless self promo there let's go back to doing flashcards next let's go maybe I'll do a little time lapse maybe that'll be fun I'm making some little bagels because I didn't eat enough breakfast, as usual, because anything I eat in the morning makes me feel really queasy. <laughs> Welcome to Flashcard Land. It is actually mental. Let me show you. So these are all my biology flashcards. Actually, not all of them. A load of them are in my little bag, because I was revising with my friend yesterday, so I, I put a load in my bag. So that's just some of them. Um, each one has a crazy ton of information on it I need to know. Um, so yeah, here is that bag. Um, it's getting a little bit dusty at the bottom. It's really hard to clean out bags. Why is it so hard to clean out bags? I don't know. Yes, biology, 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 biology. Immunology. The amount I have to know about that, oh my God. That's, this is a third of one biology topic. Whose idea was that anyway? Yes, and then photosynthesis, which is not complete. This deck is not complete. And I'm in the middle of doing mitosis and I find the details of mitosis so hard to remember. Oh my gosh. So all of these are wrong, all of these are right, but these ones that I got right are really easy. So I feel like I don't know anything. So what I'm gonna do to learn this, I'm going to 
push through. I'm going to keep going through these. And then once I've gone through all of the cards, I'm going to go back through all the ones I got wrong. And I'm going to keep doing them until I get them right. And then I might do some practice questions and I might try and do some blurting, which is where you write out all of the stuff you know about one topic and then you see what you missed afterwards and you add it in in another colour. Oh yeah, also all of this, this is all on the nitrogen cycle and something I find crazy. I find it crazy the fact that all of the stuff that I want to study next year at degree level, um, at A level level, I don't actually find that interesting and I don't really enjoy studying it. I think it's crazy how I just prefer learning the topics that I really, really love at a deeper level, but on a basic level, they're really boring and not interesting. And they're like some of my least favorite topics. I think that's so crazy. Uh, but also my least favorite topics in biology are like biomedical stuff. Cause it's just, it's just really not my thing. Like I used to love that sort of stuff cause I used to want to be a doctor, but now, yeah, no. I like uh, how easy, when you actually learn how they want you to talk in biology, it's so much easier because it's so hard to get marks when you're just learning loads of disjointed bits of information. But once you start learning everything and putting everything together, then you understand how they want you to answer the questions. Because in the beginning, like you keep getting bad grades and you keep going over it and over it and you're like, I still don't get why I'm not getting the marks. But when you realise that they love you talking about um, gradients, so this is this molecule is moving from um, an area of high to low or, or low to high concentration, down or up a concentration gradient, and then whether it uses energy and stuff like that, that's when you start to realise where the marks are and you start to understand how they want you to answer the questions. But I went through some crazy periods in the last year where I've just been crying and crying because I just didn't understand what they wanted from me. But I just realised in the end that I was going to learn everything that I had to know and I was going to commit to it. And I was going to just learn everything in the textbook, even if I didn't need to know it, because it gave me really good, solid foundations of understanding the stuff so that... I felt confident in answering questions about it. And also this is really good because the exam board I do for A-level biology, I do AQA, they um, require you to do an essay where you do four paragraphs about a topic. So it's usually the importance of, so it might be the importance of proteins or the importance of chloroplasts or something. <laughs> So it's like a, it's usually a broad topic. It wouldn't be like chloroplast because that's really limited. Um, but it'd be like the importance of water in biology. So you'd, you'd say uh, water is really important in um, photosynthesis. It's really important in other metabolic processes and you have to write an essay. So you you describe the process, then you say why it's important. And then if you know some extra information that is above A level spec, then you can include that. But the only one that I've been able to include extra information that is above the A level spec so far is talking about antigen variability with COVID because it's just a really easy thing to remember. I just started talking about how um, when everybody got vaccinated against COVID, the new strains of coronavirus weren't able to be fought by the antibodies that we created when we had the jab because they had different shapes so then I could link it to that but there's not many extra biology that I know that would relate to this essay stuff but they don't expect you to know that so yeah and also apparently the grade boundaries are really low for biology so I should be fine with whatever it should be great so yes it's crazy, but everybody hates the mark schemes in biology. They're like, it's so annoying because they're so specific about how you need to answer the questions. But I don't actually think that the mark scheme is that bad because if you just learn everything you need to learn and you you try and learn the way that they like you to answer it and all the key terms and you include all of that sort of stuff, but not waffle, then it is easier to get better marks. So let's... I need to butter my bagel and then I will do mitosis and I will do a little, a little, what do you call it, time lapse and you guys can watch me do it. And also I think it's really cool. There's like new time lapsey kind of stuff like Apple have 
updated the way that time lapses are filmed on phones and stuff because before it would be like really like because I used to film loads of time lapses like when I used to make YouTube videos when I was younger I used to make just time lapses as the video so the whole video is literally just be one time lapse and they would be like really time lapsey but now they look really really smooth because they've they've done like new edits to it so I think that's really interesting anyway I'm gonna get my tripod and I'm gonna get some stuff done. But I'm trying to get flashcards done today because I just feel like learning stuff and going back over stuff than making flashcards today and trying to do chemistry because I've been doing chemistry all week. So I'm trying to do some biology today. So it should be good. So I've done all of the mitosis flashcards and I've gone through them a couple of times and I still can't get some of them right and I'm going to leave it for a bit and then I'll go back to them later. I'm going to try and do a different topic. Um, maybe I'll do immunology. We'll do immunology. This is probably really wonky. I find it so hard to remember what a monoclonal antibody is in the context of A-level biology. Like, I just... So the definition at A-level that you need to know is a single type of antibody that can be isolated and cloned. So a single type of antibody that can be isolated and cloned. Antibodies are proteins which have binding sites complementary to, in shape to certain antigens. I remember that. What is the role of a cytotoxic T cell? It rips holes in things. It rips holes in cells so that all of their contents spill out. So usually a foreign cell. So if it sees a foreign cell, I saw the Amoeba Sisters, they're this really good biology channel and they um, picture, oh my gosh, this is such a coincidence. I'm listening to The Archer by Taylor Swift. Um, they, they imagine cytotoxic T cells like these little archers. So they're like fire arrows, not literally. They like fire arrows at foreign cells so they could be like disease cells or they could just be random cells that end up in your body and they so they they fire stuff at them so that they um end up piercing the cell membrane of these cells and all of their contents start to spill out and it causes them to die so is that right they kill abnormal and foreign cells that's not specific enough cgp's fault the CGP book is really good for all of the topics, but I think it is worse for immunology because there's so many details that you need to know. And I just didn't find it comprehensive enough. Um, the best notes that I found were uh, Miss, Etch Miss Estrick Biology. She's like this A-level biology YouTuber. She like is a teacher as well. And her Active Recall workbook, I bought it. And the, the content for some of the topics are really, really good. And they're so much better than... A revision guide because it tells you exactly what you need to know in the exact points of what you're going to get marks for in the exam because sometimes in a textbook they put loads of extra waffle in but I do try and learn the waffle to kind of understand the topic more as a, a whole so it makes more sense in my mind. Cytotoxic T cell kills abnormal and foreign cells yes abnormal cells yes that's really important so it could be like a cell that is cancerous so it is dividing too rapidly it's dividing more rapidly than it should be okay that was correct what is the name for a specific type of t cell i hate it that they're all called like b cell t cell what why just couldn't they have picked like better names oh my god this isn't even like proper immunology because i've got a book on immunology because i find it really really interesting um and all of this stuff that I learned at A-level, it's really basic stuff to the point where it's like not even true. It's so much more complicated than all of this, but they make this complicated. So it's, it's hard to distinguish. The specific name for a T cell. Plasma cell? A T lymphocyte. I didn't actually think it was a plasma cell. That's a completely different thing. I just couldn't remember. T lymphocyte. So yes, a lymphocyte is a different kind of immune cell. Oh my god, okay. By what process does a phagocyte move towards a pathogen? By diffusion? 
down like a chemical gradient. Chemotaxis, oh my god, it's putting A2 biology into this now. So in second year of A-levels, you learn about like stimuli and response. So chemotaxis means that it is moving in a direction due to a response uh, due to a stimulus and that stimulus is the chemical that is being secreted by this abnormal cell so this abnormal cell is sending out all these these chemicals and um or foreign cell might not be abnormal might just be a foreign cell and then the cell will detect these chemicals so then it will move towards it because it has sensed the chemical so that is chemotaxis oh my gosh what type of molecules do antigens tend to be? That doesn't make any sense. What do they tend to be? Like they're proteins. Usually a glycoprotein, sometimes a glycolipid or a polysaccharide. Okay, that makes sense. So it's saying like specifically what kind of biological molecule they are. So a glycoprotein is a sugar fused with a protein. A glycolipid is like a fatty acid or whatever attached to... Oh my gosh, is that actually true though? No, it might be a glycogen. Oh my gosh, this is so complicated. Or a polysaccharide. So that is a long chain of a carbohydrate, like a really, really long sugar. Okay. It's been a tough weekend. Oh my god. I had to stop filming yesterday because I got extremely ill. I keep having these episodes where my hormones go out of whack for like a couple of days. And it just makes me feel so depressed. Like, it, I just and I get cramps, like really bad cramps. Not the IBS kind of cramps I usually have. Cramps that I'm supposed to have at a certain time of month, but it's not that time of month. God knows why. Which is really irritating. We hate it. And it's all brought on by stress. There's no escaping this stress. There's no way of me reframing this stress because I've already done that still not working still not enough i still my body's still stressed i've tried everything i have changed my thoughts but still still not working and i hate it when i get like this because then i can't make any videos and I can only make videos when I'm really happy <sighs> because I hate making videos when I'm not 100% myself because the videos they just feel really bad and not my best work and just <sighs> like the only way I can convince myself that the videos are actually good is like going back and watching them and like looking at it like it's not my video and going oh yeah this is a good video but I just, I feel trapped. I have done for the last two years. No one tells you how hard A-levels are, like genuinely, and the ones that I've chosen, oh my God. Everyone said, oh yeah, they're hard A-levels. Yeah, yeah, they're hard, yeah. No, genuinely, oh my God. I just, <sighs> my gosh. But, just making sure that this summer I'm gonna do everything that I want to do I'm gonna have fun and just just enjoy enjoy it enjoy being young because school ages you by the amount of work you have to do it's just crazy so yeah. 
but I'm trying to create a realistic representation of my life on this channel, but I find it so hard because I just hate any art that I create when I'm down. It, it just makes me feel so sad. It doesn't make me feel better, which is what art's supposed to do when you create it, especially you expressing yourself and then it kind of helps you to cope with it, but it doesn't. It just makes me feel worse. When I read back old journals of times when I was like severely upset and annoyed and victimised by people and I can't even read it without getting depressed. So I think what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to learn how I can express my emotions when I'm sad and create something out of it where it doesn't make me feel worse and bad and the same as when I was then because as a human we need to experience all of these emotions the bad the good we have to embrace all of them because they all contrast each other and make each other more potent and more beautiful but it takes a lot of learning it takes a lot of work isn't going to happen as everyone keeps saying but it's still it still can happen it still can be a thing so i don't know i'm a bit of a mess but i i just feel so much better when i'm out here so much better and usually videos like this are reserved for my Patreon, <laughs> which I've been loving creating on, but um, this needed to be put on my channel, really. But yeah, I never really wanted to tell you guys this, but when I'm not making videos regularly, it's because I'm not very happy. I'm going through a tough time, or I'm just, I'm kind of, been like hustling through all of my schoolwork and I'm not taking enough time for myself because I know that when I'm making videos I'm taking time for myself but when I'm not then I'm not <laughs> uh, this is a mess this video is a mess so yeah didn't want to tell anyone that because then you guys are going to worry about me when I'm not uploading regularly but hopefully that won't be the case because when when these A levels are done, I'm going to work on myself and it's not gonna be like everything's gonna be fixed. But I'm going to do a lot of like like work to kind of sort myself out because like I'm becoming a proper adult in in like October. I I need to just do lots of meditating, lots of journaling, lots of time just doing stuff to kind of prepare myself for stuff, prepare myself to be able to cope with things so I'll never, never get that, that down again where I, I feel like really sad due to silly things and also exciting news um, so I spoke to the admissions people 
the university that I'm going to, hopefully. Well, no matter what happens, I'm still going there. I'll find a way to go there. Um, and they have switched my course. So if I get if I get the right grades in the summer, which is just one grade higher than what I would have to get normally, I am signed up for four years because in the UK degrees are usually three years and you get like a BSc or a BA but with my course you can stay on for an extra year and you can get a master's with it so it's called an integrated master's and I always wanted to do an integrated master's but I was just worried that I wasn't going to get the grades for a integrated master's but it doesn't really matter because they've said that that if I do get the grades for the integrated masters for, for the four years then they'll put me on that course but if I don't get the grades then they'll just put me on the normal course so it doesn't matter what what happens because even when I'm there I can then apply for it whilst I'm there but I honestly didn't know if I should sign up for it because that's signing myself up for four years where I can't escape it you know well I can escape obviously you can you can just do some paperwork and then they get rid of it but signing my up for like, myself up for like four straight years when I only have to do three but everyone knows and I know that I'm gonna love it I'm gonna be fine and I'm gonna want to stay for four years maybe even five in that section because if they do the right research I might even do a PhD there never know um all of the PhD students I've spoken to at the university are like yes do a PhD and I'm like yeah, we're going to see about that. I cannot, cannot say either way, to be honest. So, yeah. Oh, that's really pretty. And in the summer, I am actually going to do my sunset talk series. But yeah. If you like this kind of style of me walking and talking and stuff like this, where I'm a bit happier than normal, that's what my Patreon's all about, if you're interested in that shameless self-promo. So, yes. I don't know. Also, with spiritual practice and stuff, I've decided that I'm going to focus on on learning like philosophy and stuff at the moment so i've been learning a lot of uh, taoism which is really really interesting it's like ancient chinese philosophy and i'm finding having that as a spiritual practice at the moment like having that as my research is just so much better for me than trying to learn a load of witchcraft because i love witchcraft but it just doesn't feel it doesn't feel right to be doing that at the moment and also because I am, I've done all the spells, I've done all the manifestation I need to do for all the things I want to manifest at the moment. And then anything else I kind of, it would be nice to have in my life. I am, um, I'm just letting the universe decide about it. So I'm not really doing a lot of spell work, but maybe in the summer I will want to learn some more witchcraft. So yeah, I've been learning a lot of Taoism which I really, really love. Highly recommend it. I need to cross the road. So yes. Also, it would be funny if I do end up keeping that bit in this video where I, I'm going through all my flashcards. Oh my God. One month till my first exam. One month. And have I revised for it? No, no, I haven't. Not really. Not as much as I have for my other A levels. My first geography exam. 16th of June. No, 16th of May, sorry. And I barely revised for it because chemistry is so stressful. <sighs> my God. So I've got to know about volcanoes. I've got to know about coasts. I've got to know about water, like the water cycle and the carbon cycle. 
and that's it for that exam. So yeah. Um, and then my other geography paper is about globalisation, regeneration, um, superpowers and health human rights and intervention. And then the third paper is about synthesis. So you're given some like geographical information you've never seen before. So I'm doing this practice paper at the moment, or I'm supposed to be doing it. Haven't haven't started it yet, because I've been doing chemistry all the time. Um, it's about small islands, I think, like the Maldives. I don't know. So you have to read all these like articles and then answer questions about it, which should be fine. really hard I just don't know oh my gosh I can just kind of see into the future a bit and just see my future self just saying to me like it's all gonna be all right like you're at you're at where you want to be but it's just it just takes a lot of mental effort to keep reminding myself that I don't know anyone who isn't stressed for these A-levels. Uh, everyone is so incredibly stressed. And the only success stories I've heard of A-levels are ones where people completely burn themselves out. What is this lighting? It's not good. I've never seen an example of someone getting crazy, crazy good grades and being completely mentally okay. If anyone knows anyone like that, let me know. My fingers are almost dead, so I'm gonna stop filming. So yes. <laughs>